Uh, friends, first of all, all my friends, my personal friends, for years were, I basically, they banned me from talking about getting fired off friends because I used to talk about it all the time to them. Did you know but who I was fired off friends? I didn't no, know. No, I was fired off. I did, I, I was hired to play a character <clears throat> who was supposed to be the love interest for Lisa Kudrow and a health inspector. And it was supposed to recur for several episodes. And I got fired um, and I was told that they were trying to fit a square pig into a round hole. And, um, and it was devastating for me because I felt like that, you know, Friends at the time was a huge Jeez. show. So and you had booked it and shot a couple scenes? No, we hadn't shot anything. Oh, we hadn't. Okay. We, we, it was a live in front of a studio audience. So I worked for two days with them. And then Marta Kaufman um, and David Crane and Kevin Bright came to the set and, you know, they were like, um, thank you. You know, you can call your agent. <laughs> and Th This um, isn't working. Uh -huh. And and then Kevin Bright called me at home and said, you know, um, you know, this is, uh, we're trying to fit a square pig into a round hole. We love you, but, you know, this is not working. And so then, what? long story short, <clears throat> years later, I, I really carried it around with me and my friends were just like, Tim, we cannot hear this anymore. <laughs> and um that's when you knew you needed to let it go uh -huh. i i mean i really couldn't i was ups i couldn't let it go so the beauty of this story is that i then was hired years later to do a spin-off of a friend's character called joey um and i you know did it and the whole week i was nervous i was going to be fired and at the end of the week we you know i shot it we, I did my bows in front of the live audience and I was up in my dressing room and Kevin Bright comes to the door and he was just like, you know, um, you know, you were, you know, you were spectacular and I've been such a fan of yours over the years and thank you for doing this show. And I was like, you know, thank you. This means so much to me, especially in light of our history. And he was like, what history? And I said, well, <laughs> I'm talking about friends. And he was like, what about friends? And I said, well, I was fired. And he said, who fired you? And I said, you did. <laughs> and, and he was like, what was the role? And I told him the role. And he said, oh, well, I remember that role. He said, it was supposed to recur as a love interest for Lisa. And we, it was just poorly written. We kept cutting it down. We hired two or three actors. We kept you know, firing people. And it became smaller and smaller. And it was a one-time co-star. It ended up just being a few oh. lines one time. And he said, yeah, the role didn't work. But all those years, you thought I it was carried you. around you it was like... You, yeah. And it had there, nothing to do yeah, with me. Yeah, and it had nothing to do with me. And then, like, in that same year, hmm. I got hired on David Crane's show. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Episodes. And I did that. And David Crane, we were all sitting there, and he was looking at me and laughing, and he goes... You know, I know that we've known each other forever, but I cannot remember where we met. <laughs> and I was just like, hmm, I don't know. It feels like I, we have met. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and he goes, was it through Lisa Kudrow? And I was like, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and, and, then, uh, and then a couple years after that is when I... <laughs> Go, Got I got to do something to do Grace and Frankie. And Marta Kaufman came up to me on the first day and she goes, We're so happy to have you. I've been, you know, such a fan of yours and thanks for doing this. And it's just a pleasure to meet you. And I said, The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> and it's, it's one of those things where they've been wonderful, all three of them. And that what I could have learned had I been smarter back then, is that it's got nothing to do with me, but they were trying to fit a square peg into a round yeah. hole. And, um, and a, and I a hole that was not well written, according to them. I still think they could have tried to shove that square peg in harder. <laughs> but that being said, it all I've worked with all of them, and none of them remembered it. Yeah. And, um, and it's just such a, to me, a good lesson in yeah. you yeah. can't hang on to those disappointments right. but all i know is that um that you know i mean i remember saying like well now i can let that go and i don't ever have to think about it again because everybody has been so lovely to me and it's behind me 
And yet, what? I'm still talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> but in my a friend, positive way. Yeah. When my in friends a, hear this, they're going to think, oh, Jesus. No, yeah. no, I wow. actually, I push back on that because <laughs> that is actually something that you need to be armed with when you're out here. Otherwise, that that's bitterness. That's resentment. That's, I thought somebody was terrible. You bad mouth them. You gossip about them. They just let you go from a bad role. That's it. No, but it's not. I don't want to say that. I mean, the truth is I couldn't make it work and and neither could the other actors that they hired. But I. I mean, to me, the big lesson is not to blame them. Yes. Right. It's not to blame them. It's the way that I responded, thinking that there was something wrong with me. And I carried that around for a long time, feeling, you know, like uh, I wasn't good enough and i remember when when um i did joey and when he came up to my dressing room i remember him saying you know yeah people you know we fired people all the time on that show it was no big deal and i was like yeah no i know i get, I get, it, I get it and i remember <laughs> acting like you know yeah sure i know and and there is a part of you as an actor that wants to just be like that but the truth is you know disappointments sting yeah yeah and and it's kind of like you can't let it shut you down. You just have to figure yeah. out how to keep going. No, that's a that's a good lesson. And and do you feel like now that you've learned that, it's a lot easier for you to let stuff go and move on? And Absolutely. Not let, it, not let it bother you. Absolutely. Not drag around your past with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. That's that. See that to me is worth telling that story. 